Welcome to Glove Talk, your weekly news and boxing. If you enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. With that said, let's kind of break into this a little bit. So normally I do my weekly kind of wrap up of the week of the news every kind of Sunday, try to get it up by Monday. But this time there was something that was so big and so important that I needed to do a video on it immediately. Um, I started getting texts from friends and family kind of asking me about this and asking if it was real. And yes, it is real. Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. are going to square up on September 12th. So what I thought would be fun is I am going to watch the video that Mike Tyson put out on his Twitter feed. Now, I haven't watched the video yet, so I'm going to kind of give you my thoughts as as it plays and everything. I have seen kind of the poster that went up of them, you know, their faces side by side, that kind of classic and, and the date on everything. But um, I'm going to react to it and then kind of, you know, share with you guys my overall thoughts. So. Human beings are not meant to be humble. Unbelievable. We're, we're not born to be humble. We're born to be humble. Ooh. Everybody know it. That's <laughs> Roy. Boxing is a brutal sport. He dominated. Dominated. His legs are huge. His thighs are huge. His arms are huge. His neck is huge. So it's like. It's very risky, yes, but God is in control of all. So right off the bat, um, I have noticed that we are about halfway through this video and all they've shown of Roy is him with his t-shirt on right now and, you know, him hitting the mitts like twice. They've shown more of Mike Tyson with his shirt off looking amazing talking about how huge he is and him crushing a heavy bag. Normally, if you know anything about boxing, when they're kind of hyping up a fight, a lot of times it's a lot of like, if they want to show a fighter, make him look a little better, they just show kind of mitt work like this with his shirt on. So this already has me kind of a little concerned for Roy. I was beating everybody in every weight class I was in. What's she gonna do? It's, it's like David and Goliath. He's a giant. Monster, we know. And my ego's with me, and I'm saying, you think you fly, huh? You ain't shit. Look, the amateur getting here, kick your ass. You better get on top of your game. You want to get embarrassed in front of these people? And I'm little old. <laughs> okay, so um, if you remember from like episode one of Glove Talk, I talked about Mike and his ego and how when he was on Joe Rogan's podcast, he talked about how he didn't do like anything on a treadmill, didn't work out because his ego gets in the way and he starts getting full of himself and feeling like he peed again and everything like that. He doesn't hit the heavy bag. Like these are all things Mike has said because his ego does build up. And the other thing is when I saw that, that's not acting like Mike is not that good of an actor. That's, that's real. Like that's, that's real Mike Tyson right there. Oh boy. Uh, okay. David, who only has God on my side, <laughs> which is only all I need. <laughs> and then the other ego say, F you, you watch what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um, well, so some of my thoughts right off the bat. I'm very concerned for Roy Jones Jr. A um, couple things. Like I said, we saw a little bit of mitt work with his shirt on. But other than that, we didn't see much from Roy. Now, Roy has been competing. I think his last time was in like 2018. So it's not like Roy's going to be in terrible shape. He's going to be in decent enough shape. Mike, what's interesting about him is that, you know, we saw like that seven second clip and it turned into like 20 seconds. And now we're hearing about him like having sparring partners and starting to spar a little bit. And now we're seeing this kind of stuff. We're seeing more ads for kind of like Chinatown, which I think is a, a brand that he's working with. We're seeing more and more of Mike. And at first it was like really well kind of split up, real cut kind of footage. Now it's like longer and longer footage we're seeing. Not necessarily this clip. This one's very well edited. And Mike is looking really good. 
So it's got me really concerned for Roy because let's kind of talk about each guy a little bit and my thoughts on this fight. So they always say the thing that leaves you last as a boxer is your power. Now, Roy had good power. Like, it's not like he couldn't knock guys out. He certainly did, as we saw with the statistic there. But one of the things with Roy is that the way he went about knocking people out was very different from Mike Tyson. You know, Roy used his athleticism, used his kind of just speed, his hand speed, especially when he was younger, a lot of hand speed. And he hit people at awkward angles and he hit people when they're off balance and that helped him a lot of times get the upper hand i think roy had solid power especially for the different weight classes he fought in but mike tyson on the other hand yes he had fantastic athleticism and head movement especially when he was younger but as we saw even when he was very much faded as an athlete he still had kind of this scary power to him. And Mike has never, Mike's a bulldozing type of boxer. He goes in there to bulldoze you. He's gonna get in your face. He's gonna be all over you. Um, I'm gonna show some of the stats about this kind of fight and some of the rules for this fight. So we know that, you know, some people are talking about headgear. There's gonna be no headgear, but they did mention, you know, if someone gets cut, they're gonna end the fight, which is interesting because both guys probably have a, a fair amount of scar tissue around their eyes, which, you know, from years of boxing, I'm sure they can get cut a little bit easier than your average boxer. But it's interesting because there's no like winner per se. But if this is eight rounds, eight rounds for these guys at this age, I don't know if they're going to make it to eight rounds if Mike Tyson's looking like this. I'm very scared for Roy because I'm worried that his athleticism has faded, his speed has faded. And if he's going to go into this fight against Mike Tyson, who can just kind of do that bulldozing technique, I mean, it's got me concerned for him. Uh, the other thing that's very interesting about this fight, and I wanted to note was, it's on September 12th. And that date was already occupied by another major event, which was Canelo's first fight back since the virus has kind of hit. And now there's talk about moving that fight. So this should tell you how much this fight's being hyped up and how excited people are for this paper. This is pay-per-view. Canelo is actually going to probably move his fight date because of Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson squaring off for an exhibition fight. This is crazy. Um, the other thing that's interesting, there's been talk that Mike has talked about, you know, having this kind of older fighters league or club or something like that. And part of me, I have mixed feelings about it. Part of me thinks, you know, these guys that are older, they shouldn't be taking, you know, blows to the head and they shouldn't really be fighting. But then again, I always go back to some of them don't have anything else you know not a lot of guys were like mike tyson or roy jones jr where they had such an epic career that after they were done they're able to make money i mean mike tyson's on you know the advertisement for shark week right now I mean, mike's really utilized his career from the ring to be in commercials and all this other stuff like that not every fighter has that and there's a classic story about this kind of a little bit. It's about Joe Frazier. And when he passed, actually, Floyd Mayweather paid for his funeral. I think sometimes as boxing fans, we forget that after these guys are done and they're out of the ring, I mean, there's just no income for them necessarily unless there's something that can be marketed. Or if they, they've done, you know, well enough to save up and really make sure to have a game plan for after they're done fighting. So... In a way, I'm a little bit, you know, I'm worried about their health, but at the same time, I'm also kind of thinking if this is all you have and it can give you a little bit of extra retirement money, especially if there's rules and they're, it, they really take safety into consideration. I don't know. It's, it's just all very interesting. So um, 
yeah that's my thoughts on everything hopefully you enjoyed this I, i'd like to do more reactionary videos kind of like this if, if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff i am going to come out with a regular video um later this week kind of doing all the other news for this week and kind of breaking down like it, in particular the oscar valdez fight that just happened on tuesday and the, the fight we're going to be having tomorrow night with virgil ortiz jr uh so i'll be breaking those down later this week uh probably saturday or sunday night but Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and want to see more boxing news, the subscribe button. Thanks for stopping by.